Hey, Eglis fam. Hello, hello, happy Monday. This is me, Nancy. Welcome back to Glitz Accessory Insights Live Tutorials. And happy new year to all Glitz fam. So excited. Hope you all have a fabulous it's new year day with your family. And I'm so excited to be back with you. So this is going to be a first tutorials for is 2023. And I'm so excited to share with you. And this is going to be really fun and easy and super quick tutorials. As I'm going to show you, is really quick. A lot of you were asking the questions for the against with a lot of tutorials and even the live videos for the Glitch Gel extension using Iho Omega Gel. I'm going to do just one nails. It's really quick. So I'll give you uh, some of a samples inspirations for the the application we're going to do it from a to z from you know prepping and cleanings and you know how you pick up your omega gels so as hope it's help and then you can see that completely finished uh, on the uh, like all of my nails shortly with the uh, video later so i have in front of me um the two shape there's eight shapes and sizes total that there's the coffins coffin mediums coffin long coffin extra long still little medium still little long still little extra long and then almonds mediums and almond long and then i'm just debating between the uh, coffin extra longs and still little, still little long maybe i'll do still little long and then we're gonna do the coffin extra longs and another video and i'm just wanna um show you is really quick and simple easy and only we need a the the box of your shape and the length you prefer and then we have the uh, two essential that would definitely don't want to miss this one because this is we're definitely going to set the perfect and successful the application for you and then keep all the nails at last good four weeks plus of course they're not going to popping off but it's four weeks to get the clients can either do a reveal or they can able to do is um a new set again so i have is a primer the i hope gels and then of course there are gel extensions so if you are using these gel extensions i have it on the side right here the tip extension glue gels or you can use it with the in initial initial set is i hope omega gels either way it works this is tip extension glue gel will definitely gonna be a great great are essential for you when the clients come back and the next two weeks or three weeks is they want to get a touch up and like rebalance so you can able to use that to rebalance until they get a new set which is we're suggesting doing it two time of rebalance and then is ready for the new set and of course we're going to using the eye hole top coat for the finishings the um final and um on the tip right here i am going to choose uh the still little long and this for glitz tips we have like pretty much like 12 sizes and then it going from size zero all the way to size 11. so when you see another the slot there are size 10 and 11 together in here and i believe each of them approximate about 50 tips um per uh one side so and usually I have all of my size charts right here just for my preference. But then if you're doing for the clients, you can definitely add in the chart for your clients. And a special note, or if you are doing it like a payment system that you're doing it different like payment system, you can put the note on each of the clients like uh, profile. So then when you are pulling the profile for clients, you can able to get the side chart for them. And you can have, and keep in mind that each shape the sizes might be slightly different. So like say in probably still let along, the uh, thumbnails might be number one for me, but then it might be is maybe number two or number two for like coffins, coffin extra long. So just, you know, keep in mind that you want to make sure that you size it for the clients accordingly so i have it the size is right here this is size number one it fit perfect on my thumb and if you feel like it's still extra you can definitely using the file and then just a little bit adjusting it but my is going really nicely 
so I should be okay. But if you just in case you need it, you can definitely adjusting it, you know, around the uh, cuticle area. So then that way it will make it fit snug in perfectly. So make sure when you size it, you'll make sure you size from a side wall to the side wall so it's not overlap or it's not missing any of your nails. You want to make sure they're completely covered. And just for um, Summer's really quick tip and trick, this is nail when you see that I'm bending it, it doesn't give you like have, um, like kind of, how to say, like the color yeah, of the morph. Crease, when it got bent, you will see that white shape in the middle, like so. Like this one. So then you put the other other tips, you're going to notice that it's going to give it some really uh, a band marks like cloudy mm -hmm. like this. So then give it not flexibility like a glitz, you know, um, in the tip gel extension. We have using it the most, you know, um, up to date, the formula. So it's really high quality of the tip. So even when you feel it, when you have it on, it feels so solid. It doesn't feel like a flimsy at all and a soft like other tips if you might notice that a lot of uh glitz fam that you know would also share with us as well so this is other tips so then that is just for your for some of your um preference for your information the easy to like bend and easy to get and, like if the client's getting heat it might hurt and it's bent easy and it's not going to being flexibility and this one is the um coffin action long from glitz and this is the stiletto mongs from glitz so okay so let's uh move on this one just that so then i bend it so then you can see that and then also you can see that it's cloudier than is glitz you know so Give it a try when you get your uh, tip box and you can play with this and see exactly what I'm talking about. So I have this one as side number one. It fit with me. So I remove all the existing products, prep it with 180 grit um, sand bead. So I don't want to go into really, really aggressive. So only you know, we need to do is we're going to apply the primer just and tie on the nails just remove all the shines and it have it's really easy bonding and then on the backs of the tips right on the wells of the tip here we are go ahead and using the base gels and apply really thin coat and I'm going to just do it right where it is going to adhere to my nail plates. So cure this for 60, uh, 10 seconds. I'm sorry. It was like 60 seconds, 60 seconds for the color. Okay. And 10 seconds. And in the meantime, in the meantime, I am go ahead and apply the beige gels on my nails as well really thin coat that is perfect for a lot of um nail technicians who is start introduce the gel extension with the clients if you haven't get stop step on this game yet definitely look into that because you do not want to be behind this is not going to okay keep for 10 seconds on my nails and this is not something that you alternate, like, I mean, like, replace completely, alternate the, your um, liquid and powder or is yours uh, heart gels or velvety gels. This is another is opportunity for you to add it on for your menu for 2023. This is going to be it definitely it will take your business to the next level. So you can able to add it on the services and really sit back and ensure that this is gel extension will last professionally is four weeks plus just like your acrylics or your heart gel services or anything else that you're doing so we're done with this one bay gel and i have i finished my i hold omega gels like pretty much almost finished i can use this for my gel for my 3d flowers but then very have a little bit and then it's last me a long time so i'm just really really pleased with that and i'm gonna open my new ones omega gels I was like open this one on the other day already 
and then I was like, oh, I still have my new one. You know what? This one I got for my uh, sub box, so. There you go. I'm gonna just throw this one away. Make sure when you open it, you keep your Omega gels in a nice cool place, avoiding direct sun. So it is really solid and it's not runny or it's not going anywhere until you are going to like really curing it. So in front of me is the a 3D dual brush. So I'm going to just need it. Not necessarily you are going to need it, but I just have it here. So I'm going to show you some tip and trick. A lot of you don't need this, definitely. But this is, will be help for a lot of beginners. So when you are starting your uh, gel extension, so then you can able to really control using your Omega gel, your application. So I'm going to just like really gently scoop the so smaller beads. And then when you're first time doing it, you might you might experience a little bit extra of your Omega gels. And you might have a little bit less. So give it a try, like a couple nails. You will get hang of it. So avoiding you don't want to touch anything on. You can definitely using the um, 3D dual brush. And it's no tacky layer. So then you can definitely have... Um, really easy to using this too to spreading your omega gel you can like usually if you're seeing me i will place it on the 45 degree angle from the cuticles and then press it down but i'm going to show you for a lot of you who is are going to introduce um in 2023 with the gel extension so then you can able to like usually when you do this for five nails and you spread it out like this and you you able to apply it on it's going to even cutting the application in like no time like half of the time so you can see that placing on the cuticles about like really close like just a want just a hair away and then you can see that i can let go my tips and then you can see that it's a little bit crooked on the left right so this is a great time for you to adjusting it for your clients and you can able to like able to adjusting it and make sure that they're going straight instead of crooked. Now it looks really good. And then I can let my like go off the tips without have to holding it. So this is going to be like take your uh, skill to the next level, your application to the next level. Because then now you don't have to worry about, oh my God, oh my God, it's going to be crooked. And then if you're holding, you lip it up with regulars on the traditional tip extension then you will notice that it's having create a lot of bubbles because it had a lot of air pockets in there. So it's going to create a lot of bubbles on it. So you're getting a little bit of frustrations and then you're going to keep doing it and it's going to give you a lot of uh, messy. So now you see that it's going with no bubbles, no air pockets. And then you're going to see on the size that is going really nicely and you press it and make sure it going just over on right where you meet your natural nails and then you can let go and then have the clients doing it either you can have a flashlight and you flash key it for 10 seconds if you're not you are going to just placing in the on the um a, the ld light and key for full key 60 seconds so i'm gonna go ahead now i don't have to hold this one in my mouth and holding this at the same time if you are like starting with the gel extension, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It would definitely the big changer for your gel extensions application. So I'm gonna go ahead and key it for 60 seconds. So it's going right perfect. That's cool. I'm gonna give it a quick here for 60 seconds. So the same thing, you'll do all the rest of them. And this is great for you to doing this application. If you are doing for your clients, you are prepping the clients, like just you prepping your manicure and then prepping anything um, like with your nails enhancement, sizing the clients. If you have a client that come back to get a set, you already have a size in your um, note already. So it's even like the, pr the procedure is gonna go even faster. 
And then when you did all this, if you are doing it with a Omega gel, so a lot of you still love doing a tip extension glue gel. I still love it too. But if you are finding yourself really struggling and then frustration with like holding it down and too much of gel extension or too little of gel extensions glue, and it's go everywhere. If it, if the clients have a high C curve, you don't add enough, then it's not enough. Then you add too much and it's run everywhere. This is going to be your bestie and it will back you up every single time. Thousands and thousands of the um, nail technicians are so um, pleased with this and it helps so much with their application, whether they're doing it for themselves or create a lot of difference um, set for the clients. So I'm going to show you some cool tip and trick. I'm going to underneath is really cool already but i'm gonna go ahead and using the no wipe top coat what i am going to do i'm just coating to seal it because then that way it going to seal and it make it even better and it's also if i don't want i want to keep my number i mean the length there i don't want to shape it you can shape it you don't you can cut it if you want to you can trim it if you want to but I just want to have it really nice shines underneath. And then give it a quick here. And then you can do the same thing for the rest of your nails, okay? I just want to do a quick ones because if I do the rest of them, it's going to be just redundant for you. And you might like, oh my gosh, I'm so sleepy watching Nancy doing it. But it's going to find you can see all the, all the completely set. Uh, taking picture for you, some idea. So today's after I've done this, I'm going to show you how you can um, clean it really easy. Literally, you don't have to do a lot of filing, a lot of shaping because it's already have the length for you. It already have a shape, pre-shape for you. So then you can definitely, this is definitely, I wish it, we had this 20 over 22 years ago when I just first started with nails careers. I would be so, so pleased and so happy. Um, you know, beside, you know, on the side of a liquid can powders, you know, services for clients, heart gels and gel extension is definitely a game changers. And I'm so pleased with this. So today's after we find it, I'm going to do is really quick, like really cute design for you. Simple. I really like to try this on at number nine, which is metal gray. I don't think I did. I think I did some of the tutorials designs on this, but um, let's try the metal gray because Remember, I've been <laughs> doing a tutorial for the last two weeks with this. I said, oh gosh, Nancy, can you do something else? Yep, I'm going to do this color instead of that triple palette, even though I like it so much. And it is is still available on the uh, Glyph January sub box right now. We still have time to grab your favorite sub box. And I absolutely obsessed with that sub box. It's had so many. So it is pretty much good like you can see that by using your omega gels will definitely back you up and it will eliminating a lot of messy like no messies at all and you either you can do it with you see a lot of videos i do without the um 3d dual brush but when i start doing this it even take this using omega gel will take half of my times like off from struggling with the tip extension love it really thick uh, consistency but also is still if you are having a clients having really high seeker or the clients having their crooked nails that you want to try to straight it it might give a little bit of challenging so with omega gel you don't have that issue at all and then now i don't even have a lot of excess is gels that hanging there for me so now i'm gonna do it just using my e-file crystal light e-file and then this is the um, mediums uh, ceramics. This is a great for beginner. I would go, I always, I've been using all a lot of different um, E5 beads and a lot of them are really um, embraces, really like too harsh on the client's nail. This is going to work with your heart gel, your gel extension, your liquid and powders, also velvety gel and as well as dipping powders. You know what a dipping powder is like more in it is acrylics powder but also it is you don't have to fight a lot with the especially with the dipping so those same thing with the gel extension i'm gonna lean on that one can you see it sorry 
um, right under the camera. So all you need to do is holding one of your fingers. You can use this fingers, this finger, ring finger, pinky, however you want. And hold really is sturdy on the handle and going about 45 degree slowly. I turn it on about 6,000 RPM. Also, it depends on your e file and different brand, different company. So make sure you give it a try and you are able to get hang of it really easy. So clean it and then make sure you separate the cuticles. And if you pay attention from the beginning where we did it, I didn't have to even edges my tips at all. Um, the purpose of it, we don't do the edges of tip because when we're doing edges of tip and finding underneath, it is thinning out too much on the um, on the cuticle area, which is that not necessary. The bay gels will definitely it adhere so well to the point you don't need to have edges because it's going to make the tip is thinner. So now when you're getting close to the cuticle, I'm gonna do it on a side way like this. When you're seeing that, like 45 degree. And really slowly, you don't have to go rush in this one, but it's slowly, it will definitely do it works. It's really, really gentle. Plant should not feel any, feel any heat or anything at all. And then when you are going to the second stage, you are going to flatten. You can see that flatten parallel the keep your beads, it's just parallels with the nail surface. And here you have the look. And then that's pretty much. You only need to blend this when you are cleaning up in the excess gels and it just clean it up in the cuticle area. Other than that, you do not need to fine them or really go aggressive with them because they're already shaped, it already have a structure for you, it do everything for you already. So that's a beautiful of the gel extension it is. And that's it. Now you can see how nice and it makes this really is good and perfect so getting good of the structures you know and it get this you know apex looks really good all right so that's all i need i don't need to go all the way if you want to absolutely you don't have to so i'm gonna go ahead and using the buff and just gently buff it Remove the dust and I'm gonna just like reshape it a little bit to just precise it. You don't have to do like a lot of filing because it already does. Hmm, I like this a lot though. I'm gonna clean it with I guess I should wash it. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna wash it really quick. All right, and why is he doing that? So a quick reminder to everyone. So we have updated our website. So now the Valentine HQ is live. You can get there for all you need for this Valentine's season. Oh my gosh, I am, can't wait. I'm so excited. I can't wait to do a Valentine nails. But I didn't want to get everyone to like, in a Valentine like, we can do it now, but then we'll have like a long month, maybe in, unless you want to request and we're doing it. So I clean it already. That is, look, you see that how a cuticles area, it's just like, you know, when you put in cuticle oil, it's gonna look nice and moist and it looks nice not dry um so with the good job polish you do not need to add any uh bay gel on the gel extension i'm not sure with the other gel extension tips so just be aware if you do maybe you should put it in one coat of the bay gel with glitch i do not have to someone just need to using a primer just this one this is i just adding it on to just give a good grip between 
the uh, gel extension tips and the uh, gel polish. And also just remove some shikes from the tips. I'm gonna even I buff it already. And then I'm gonna using number nine, metal gray. Give it a really quick shake. So when you are getting your gel polish, it is when it having it, you know, is um sitting on the on our office on the warehouse. So make sure when you are receiving it, it had like a shot of um is saturated and separate of a layer of the oil which is normal so give it a really good shake it will give it like blending really well with the pigment so i'm gonna go ahead and shake well wipe off on one end and leave on the other side a little bit of smaller beads you can see and then we're gonna just polish it give it closer to the cuticles and spread the bristle. There's a thousand ways to doing it, the glitch gel polish application. This is one of the way. Usually when if I do it for clients, I have the support for mine. Okay, we're not using the edges. And with this application closer and especially closer to the Kiko, you don't want to be rushed. Give it a good swipe. Thin coat. And do not worry if going to be like perfect yet because we are going to do it the second layer, second coat. So first coat, remember if you are doing it for yourself, really nice and thin. You don't want to have a thick layer because it's not going to cure properly and it's going to like really strike on you. So cure for a 60 seconds. Looks good though, huh? I like that a lot. I think I'll be honest, I'm never wearing a metal grace on my nails. Like you guys see me a lot of like uh, beige or light nude dark nude and a lot of Aurora colors. I love Aurora and then cat eyes like this cat eyes. I don't know, it's just love it. I just love glitter, but it's to have, like have a um, really nice subtle colors, it's different for me. Maybe I should, I should put some comb on it. See? Oh, hey, Robin, sorry. It was like, if I see, if I miss any of you to say hi, hello. I was like so into the, my nails design. And hello, Facebook fam, Instagram fam, YouTube fam, TikTok fam, and of course, Twitch fam as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. And Happy New Year to everyone. I'm so excited. I'm going to get my nails done. So second coat. I love about glitz is gel polish is so pigmented. You can see that it's how opaque it is. But it's opaque is not mean that it's really hard and then thick to polish. Really opaque, it give you a full coverage and it's really a nice um, coverage. So second coat again, I am wiped completely on this one. It's off much as possible and leave on the other side where I am going to apply on the nails. Is in uh, gels and you might need loaded it more if your nails are getting a little bit, I mean the length is a little bit longer. I'm going with the edges right there. I might using the little brush to detail that one. Going to the left. All right. Keep your bristle parallels. It looks like I do it 45 angle. It's only when I landing on the closer to the cuticle. But when you get the cuticle coverage, you can see that how I flatten the bristle like this. So then that way it the whole entire body of bristle will blend nicely, evenly the gel polish covers for me. So looks really cool on the cuticle area but i'm going to show you some things really quick for a lot of you are is love in the gel polish if you are um having like the clients that you don't want to get in closer to the cuticles you can using i'm using the twin tip brush right now and then on the other end of the twin tip brush which is the precise a little precision brush here i love it you can use it for any of the details 
I'm gonna just like go in really detailed cuticles area. Okay, that it helped to keep it really nice and without without getting like flooded your cuticles. Cool. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. I like it. This is really cool though. The colors, I'm impressed. Ooh. So let's give it two coverage and it's really nice. It doesn't look bulky thick. You can see that on the both sides that it doesn't look bulky and it, it thick on the both sides. So keep the shape of the nice of the nails. It's important to keep the shape of the nails. It looks nice, precise, but it doesn't look bulky and like wide on this side. So I found where's oh where's my foil? Do you see it? My style foil. I just have it here. Oh, right here. So I'm gonna using I like this. I want to try this one on my nails because it's gonna be on the rest of them. So I'm using it from uh foil box number 41. I'm gonna go ahead and use that with the premium my whole channel for foil and see what what's up. You can do it all and tie the nails, or you can do it just around it to get it just the tips only, however you would like. I'm gonna put not put any crystal um glitter on it. I'm gonna just doing the foil. Okay. Look at that. Is that cool? It's chilling, huh? For new year nails. All right. Premium I hold chan for foil. I'm gonna go ahead and after 60 second key each layer I did, it was 60 second key. I'm gonna go ahead using the I hold premium chan for foil. Apply and tie the nails. One coat in the middle and then two on the left and on the right. Okay, here for 30 seconds. Make sure when you are applying, you are going to floating it. And even when you end, you want to keep your bristle, keep going. You don't want to stop right here because otherwise it's going to get a big slide. Um, the excess gels on the edges of the tips. All right, here for 30 seconds. I really like this. And the laying it looks good. And I cut this piece off. I really want this one. This would be perfect for Valentine. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do this one? Mm -hmm. Should I? Do the Doha? Are you sure? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Okay. Why oh, you want a Doha? I have to change my mind. Huh? <laughs> why? You're always a bad influence. Like you give me something like, oh, why not? And then when it's turned out not good, he said, oh, I didn't realize that. It's okay. We just figure out about the, the bad combination. Yeah. Okay, let me just show you. Oh, that look good. Mm -hmm. It looks so weird. You might have to flip it over. Huh? Like this? Like that? No, I don't like it. Okay. Okay. I like it, but I think I think this one looks good with like have a little bit pinkish. Or oh, this one looks good with blacks. But anyway, I have my gut that tell me don't listen to heal this. <laughs> <laughs> so I will listen to myself. So I'm gonna use this one. If you want to try this one, you go for it, okay? But I some things are telling me that do do not know Nancy. So I'm gonna listen to my gut. All right, so I'm gonna add this one on. But hey, he's always sometimes he's getting a really good idea too. Not like oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna press it right in the center. And then don't worry because your nails always, your client's nails always have the um, C curve. Just really gentle. This one, you can't be rushed. And even like if you are doing slow, it doesn't take you like a whole time, like in the words from you. It just, you just need to do press on the spine and gently press down on the left and then go down on the right. So make sure all the crease is laying down. So it chamfer all the image it's supposed to. Let's see what's up. Because I can feel that is already chamfer for me. Where is my tweezer? 
Anytime I don't have a deal. It's already a pop at all. It's already like, hey, I'm done. Okay. Some of this baby right here is going to transfer as well. This is Danny too, like really handy too. It definitely going to be your bestie. Okay, ready? It already leave it up like it's so. You see some of the squeeze, do not worry. If you are slowly and get it from a spy first and then go to the left and to the right, you know, then you can chamfer like 100% of pretty much everything. That's it. And now, if you don't want anything else, leave it alone, chilling with a really beautiful set for a New Year's like this. Not much going on, but it's still not being simple. That's it. Top coat. And then if you are going to do a matte top coat finish and you add matte top coat on, and then you keep for 60 seconds, you're good to go. If you want it shiny, like your star shiny, then you add the shiny top coat on and you keep for 60 seconds, you're good to go. But in this one, I'm going to add just a little bit of crystal on it. You don't have to. I really want to finish my palettes right here. Maybe I'll should adding one of this. One of this is really inspire me. So I'm going to add it on. But as I say, you don't have to. All right. So let's go in with our crystal trifecta. This crystal trifecta is back me up every single time with all the crystals. I'm going to using the condensed glue gel, no wipe top coat, and a precision glue gel. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the condensed glue gel first. Oh, I love the heart, but I'm so glad that I did the star. You just get a good idea. But I feel like ah, I shouldn't listen to you. But I didn't mean that you are not listening to your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant others, you know. But just listen, taking advice, and then also trust your gut like i said oh it's a good but i feel like really strong that you want to do this and do it do it so then you won't regret you can do a next nail so that but if you want this so bad do this one so you can see that it be really thick density so you see that i spread my bristle so i don't loading it the reason that i spread the bristles really well because then it helped this the surface of the nails to grab my condensed glue gels, right? So it's like basically it's anchored down without just floating on the on the nail plates. And then apply the no web top coat with the floating techniques. I'm gonna get my tray right here shortly. Loading it on. So the floating techniques, which is mean is not only completely covers the condensed glue gels and it's gonna give it a really nice smooth surface and it finish when you are done after the curing, but it also is gonna be a double secure and it will grab your crystals, charm and chain and frame and beads in one place. So I am go ahead and maybe I should do this one. I want to do that one. This one right there. And keep it like you pick the center pieces first. I might go up a little bit. Pick a different crystal. This one is really cute and it's simple. And I think I use this Crystal Kids number... Either in a master kit number one or two, one of the two. But if you use this, it's you will never go wrong with this. I'm gonna using this one right there, and then using this one right here. Super cute, really simple, simple, simple. 
and I might add just that one on. And you, if you don't want any beads and frame, leave it alone like this. You are good to go. But if you want to add some beads or any frames on to just give it a really cool, like a finished look, look like is the piece of a jewelry. You are going to add some beads on. And you see when I do, I add the beads between the crystal and crystals. And between the joys of the crystal, between crystal and frame, crystal and the beads, crystal and the charms to give it a like really cool, oops, you're hitting one of the uh, camera. And that's it. And then you can continue doing all of them the same if you are doing it the rest of your set, it's really cool for the New Year nails. Before we are start doing a lot of, of uh, designs for Valentine. So it looks really good. I'm going to add just one more. And then one more. Looks good. I'm adding one more. Pretty cute and simple. I just want to make sure that I did it not crooked at all. I'm going this side. And there's a best thing about condensed glue gels and the um, no wipe top coat, especially is like crystal trifecta. It's not going to dry until. I am going to cure, so I have all of the time in the world to adjusting my designs. You can see that I was like tilting on this way. And make sure they are straight. I'm trying to get a little bit of the, uh, a little of the arrow, like this arrow. If I had a smaller one, that's one right there. This is a little arrow right there. You don't have to, but I think it looks so cute with this. Maybe off that one. Be this one. This looks so cute because this um, nails, it has the stiletto shape. So it's kind of giving a little bit of my cute character. Okay, so I think I might have to ship them over here a little bit. Look good. So then you want to make sure that this is light up with the tips right there. So you don't feel like you are getting the designs like crooked. All right, I'm going to have you look at it for me one more time. Looks good. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Look at on their end. Don't touch. Straight. Looks crooked. Oh, right here, I found it. You know what he said? He's like, it's okay. Why? You was like, know that us OCD, we're not gonna let it go. Hey, but like, if it looks fine to you, then probably it's fine. Oh no! After we cure, it's gonna be a big trouble. That's why I said, if you want to change anything, do it now. I think it's only need to ship it. It looks better, right? Mm -hmm. See? You're so mean, man. You should tell me at first because you know that it's like, oh, because you okay to tell us now. Let's always tell the client too. I said, did you see it's crooked to you? Said, 
uh, this one, like crooked Nancy, I'll fix it right away. But if you don't tell me and you said, oh, look fine. And when it here, bam, that's the end of story. We can't fix it until, unless we like really clip it off using the crystal clipper. But it looks really good to me now. It's straight now. But it's so weird because on my end, it looks, this one, it looks crooked. No, 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 no. But anyway, I want to key it. Oh, but you know what? It's so weird though because on my end, it looks crooked. Just a second. You can talk to you. You can talk to everyone. Say hi to everyone. Hi, You know, and also it because we did the um because we did the uh the crooked looks. You know? Like the frame go in different way. Maybe I should put the frame down here. I think I'm gonna put the frame down here. <laughs> it's it's cool because it haven't gear yet. I look at this, huh? I can move my frame down here one before I gear. Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm chilling and doing my nails right now. And just feel something that I wanna adjusting it before. And then it's a really a great that the condensed cool gels and no wet top coat. So then I can adjusting it especially when you do now i did it and i make it even like crooked more go back in that way this way this way this way this way okay so if you have a client that doesn't want to change it right away do so before because otherwise when you care it will not i change it only you know what did i change I do change only a different that the frame. I move the frame a little bit from the top. Like instead of go S shape, I move it into so then they are like on both sides. Looks cool. I think it's my nails, like my bone, like crooked due to the arthritis. But hey, good now. Because man, if I texting that fingers is a texting finger, you see things crooked, it's gonna drive you crazy. So you know exactly what you want. So don't settle for less. If you know your nails need to be straight, fix it though. Cause it save you so much time from becoming frustrations, like frustrated about that. But anyway, it looks so cute now, and I'm gonna finish this with the double, triple uh, sealing for your crystal design. And I'm so excited because today we did a really quick video, but also even like only one nails, but I want to share a lot of details, a lot of tip and tricks that you could possibly um, doing it. It will hopefully will save you a lot of time from, you know, like, um, I think it's like we're getting that troubleshoot um, while you're doing your gel extensions or finding the client's nail. So I'm curing it 60 seconds from here now. So when you're doing it, make sure you're curing, you make sure you teal your finger back and forth like this. So then that way all of the UV can cure on all the edges, all in the edges of the crystal, crystal base. So now I'm going to go ahead and using the uh, precision glue gels. And I am a go ahead and using on this end and do a little bit of an exam first. I haven't squeezed nothing yet. So I'm going to do a little bit check, check right from a part right here. And I feel sketchy right here. Where it's like, you know, had a little bit of a gap that is not feeling completely with the condensed blue gels or no white top coat. We're going to seal on the top of the beads. You can see that I sealed on the top of the beads. And then I'll go around. Here I feel scratchy too. I'm going to seal on the top of the beads. You need, you, if you pay attention, you see that I just leave all the crystal alone. I am not sealed any of them or touching them. 
just going around on the base when you are doing in the base if you're scratchy you're going to squeeze just that much just little go a long way you don't want it using it too much because it's going to flood your crystals you don't want all your crystals to just cover with all like load up a layer of, of the no white top coat no white top coat or i mean a precision glue gel it looks nice and shiny but you don't want it taking away from a cut and a facet of it some of the seals are uh, the metal beads in the frame, completely seal, seal, seal. And around with the crystals. And if you're seeing it, that I have a little bit of extra of the pre-season glue gels. What I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and using the twin top brush. I said this is going to be your bestie because it's really it come in handy when you're doing a lot of different detail from a gel paint polishing. A painting and also is precise your is um crystal application i love it and it's helped me go in all really detail and give it a really quick swipe and so it helped blend all the excess precision glue gel so when you here it doesn't look lumpy bumpy all right and then we'll go ahead and key it for 60 seconds you know what i'm so glad that we did this um the star Chanful boy, I like this one, and it's really sturdy though. I weighing it on, it's really flimsy. As you are tuning in, this is from the other tip. When you notice that, if you have your tips on the station the boxes, give it a try. It's not something just for you for your preference because sometimes if you have the set, you have one shape from the glitz and then one um size. I mean one shape. And then one's um, link from glitz, and you might notice that it's hard, but it's not hard. It's like really flexible. You bend it. It gives you a bend twitch however you want, but it doesn't make a mark, like a cloudy mark. But with others, you might notice that like this, like cloudy, and it get a crease. So this is one that really, it, it, of course, you're still able to have lines and on, but then it's going to be hard because when the clients are heated like their nails accidentally, it doesn't have a good support and strong enough to holding it because this is full cover tips, completely covers in the nails. And they might notice that, you know, easy, it's brittle and it's easy to like coming off or it's flip off or however. This one, unless you really like cutting it and um, remove them, or else it's not going anywhere. Someone is using the 99% alcohol. Give it a quick wipe. Clean completely. All the residues from the from the um, crystal picker. So it's gone now. Let me put this cap on this one because you don't want it to be hanging there because it's going to easy to get like clock so you make sure that you add it on and put it back on and then just adding your cuticle oil then make sure cuticle oil underneath you and that's it and you are all done and then you just need to finish the rest of them like the same thing size them and then follow exactly the same what i share with you and you're gonna have a definitely a beautiful set of nails feel really solid like when you bend it like this there are no other feeling that it will hurting or it's get possibility it's gonna be break unless you really like cut it it's really cool and sometimes I was seeing it, it's just like really cool and even harder and more sturdy and more precise to do it than my liquid and powder as well. Because sometimes when you put in a liquid and powder, one beat, two beat, three beats, one beat, it had really nice and flaws on this end. And then the other beats is getting a little bit of, get a little bit of lumpy here and you have to filing them a lot. And then on the ratios of the applications on one size, a little bit less than the other size that it's going to be a possibility to, to getting a cracking on one side. If you have a client that keep cracking on the liquid and powders and probably on, um, it looks that like it covers, but it's not covers the right ratio. But this is gel extension tips. When we doing this, the formulas, every single little of a surface of it is really pretty much 
approximate is really precise. So then on the your apex on the left side to the right side, there are is pretty much approximate is even and equal. So therefore, it really rare and really, really rare. I say really rare. I've been weighing it to a lot of clients, a thousand of a nail take, a thousand of a nails clients is get done by, you know, is nail tech who is glitz customer glitz fam that is experienced and notice that it has no as possible it's getting break and it coming off and it cracking or accidentally oh my god i just scratched my back and it's coming off this is you scratch your back your back gonna scratch it's not gonna coming off like you know it's the uh liquid and powders and a lot of so this is gonna be a great another uh, service for you to adding on your service if you haven't get start this game in 2023 this is a great chance for you and we want nothing but the best for every single one of you in 2023 so much more successful a lot of more clients add to their books in your list and having so much more funds and a lot of inspiration in 2023 for your career because remember you have to give it uh, some love on your careers a lot of loves it will create a lot of from love experience and excitement will create yours as passion from your passion you can able to is complement your technique your skills and you can able to able to take your business your skills your techniques to the next level so then guess what happened it's gonna make you more excitement and an exciting when you do anything you know with your career and it will bring you to the next level and make more money and it can work smarter not harder so they're all linked together and we want nothing but the best in 2023 for all of you and if you want to um see a lot of others is tutorials a lot of tips and tricks for a gel extension also liquid and powder a velvety gel each of them each of techniques and enhancement have a, this beautiful of its own you know unique why we're using acrylics why we're using gel extension why we're using the ace hard gel why we're using a velvety gels and so on and so forth so don't forget to is follow glitz on all platform wherever you are convenient if you are on youtube followers oh subs on youtube right and then on instagram you follow us on instagram like us on facebook i'm not sure it's twitch but we're trying to go live on twitch and then um tiktok follow as well for a lot of tutorials really quick simple and easy if you want to watch all phone tutorials if you don't have time to watch live with me you can definitely watch replace and then if you are seeing like oh she talked too much fast forward it you know if you find that when I'm talking and find you some good information, then save it. But if you feel like, oh, I just want to watch the tutorial, fast forward it. However, work for you with your, you know, time that you are doing, you know, so then do so. So I really enjoying it. I think it's the first time I'm doing it with only one nails. But I'm going to about finish the rest of them. But here is a look for you. How easy it is. Do you think it's that easy? Oh my god i'm so obsessed with my uh, omega gel i would suggest to get this the uh, bundle before i think it changed because it's right now i see on the website the bundle still have omega gels it's about to update and changing then you don't want to lose that opportunity so here is the uh final look i don't know how to hold it can you see but by the way here you go all right to all my glitz babe if you have any questions for the tutorials or techniques feel free to dm us uh and we'll be so happy to assist you if you are having any questions for the shipping and order i believe all the order during the holidays is already shipping out so please look forward to this and for a lot of you are sub the box your box on your way and i'm so excited for you to get in your box and if you have any questions for the shipping and order, feel free to uh, email us at info at glitzassistantinsash.com. Our team will be so happy to assist you. And in the meantime, please have a fabulous Monday and Happy New Year 2023. May the New Year's will bring you a lot of good health a lot of happiness and so much more successful in your career, okay? Hey, Dom, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm about to go and finish the rest of my nails because I can't go naked with this. Ooh, but if I doing it all of them, then you might feel like redundant. So I 
here you go one cute nails make my day ah thank you so much ym hey thanks so much thank you so much everyone thank you quiz fam and here maybe it's just it's gonna be a good does that look good like that instead of the other one it might be busy try to get a good like a bag there you go thank you look good mm -hmm. all right here you go to glitz fam i'm looking forward to see you in the next live okay in the meantime have a fabulous monday and please be safe be safe is important and take good care of yourself and your family okay we'll see you in the next live yes Dom. hey amigos hello hello you are here thank you so much and you can definitely watch replays Thank you so much, Nichols. I will.